This is Murray Rose, who has the reputation as one of the world's outstanding swimmers. Gold medal winner in both the 1956 and the 1960 Olympics. Murray, in 1956, was the youngest swimmer ever to win three gold medals in one Olympia. Murray has competed internationally in swimming for many years, and since 1956, has held one or more of the world's top swimming records. Man has the ability to swim faster and farther than almost any other animal, and he can coordinate his movements into a rhythmic ballet of motion. was a beautiful exhibition of swimming. Thank you. Coming from you, that's quite a compliment. <laughs> well, I know you didn't learn how to swim that way overnight. How long did it take you? Oh, years. Many, many hours of practice. But you know, even a good swimmer can drown. There's a great difference between swimming and the ability of staying alive in the water. Uh -huh. That's the key, isn't it? The real trick is to learn how to stay alive. And you don't have to be a swimmer to survive in water. Non-swimmers can learn it easily. And that's what we're going to show you how to do. Mr. Rose and I, along with our uh, friend back there, are going to show you a simple method that can save your life. <laughs> That's right. It's not for speed or beauty. It's specifically designed to keep you alive in deep water. And it's safe. So safe that even if you're injured, you can stay afloat. Exactly. Because the basic object of any water survival procedure is to know how to keep yourself alive for an indefinite period of time. Stay afloat and breathe. Nothing more, nothing less. The entire method consists of five basic steps. Resting, getting ready to breathe, exhaling, inhaling, and staying at the top. You put all these together in one coordinated movement and that's all there is to it. The whole idea of this technique is to make that natural set of water wings, your lung cavity, work for you in a way so as to use as little energy as possible. I'll show you each step on the model here and uh, Murray will demonstrate it in the pool. Get wet, boy. Ah, how you feel, Murray? Tired? Are you kidding? No, you could go on like that for hours. That's why it's designed the way it is. People have stayed afloat for hours using this procedure. That's what it's for. To keep you alive in deep water for an indefinite period of time. That's right. Now, some people are going to learn this technique faster than others. That's to be expected. The same way with floating. Some people just naturally float easier than others. We're all built differently, so it's perfectly normal. However, there will be about one person in every hundred who's what we call a poor floater. No matter how much air they take in, they still find themselves gradually sinking. But this technique can even be adapted to them, and we're going to show you how. <laughs> 